here with the mystery package and this is a live stream and i know a lot of you do not get notifications for my live stream so if you're watching this after the fact um hit the notifications on all notifications you, you can select which notifications if you're new please subscribe 70 percent of you watching are not subscribed smash the like button we're gonna break into this and this came in the mail look at how sketchy this is shout out to poverty stacks the first in the stream followed by alice in wonderland who else is gonna be here welcome everybody smash the like mystery package we're gonna get into a letter from one of you we're going to get into. We got Budget Bullion. We got AA. We got Magnificent Linings. We've got T-Square Talk. What's up, T-Square? I was in your stream the other day. You didn't see me. We got David Carlisle. We got Shirt Stacks. We got Scott Loves YouTube. We got Slayer Stacker. Man, we've got everyone in the house. Are you guys ready to get into the mystery package? Or do you want to go into the letter from one of you first? Let's see what you guys say. David Carlisle's dropping the crabs, followed by AA. Welcome, everybody. If you want me to beat the YouTube censorship, and if you want to get my notifications consistently, I need more engagement. So please smash a like. Please leave a comment down below, and that helps the video do better. We got Cyclops saying, I asked, what's up, bro? What's up? We got Stamos, Garrett C., King and Queen stacking. We've got literally everyone here. So what is it, ladies and gentlemen? Mystery package first, number one, or letter from one of you, number two. We got James McKay in the house. What's up, James? What do you guys want? Number one, number two. AG Chopsticks in the house. What is up, AG? Okay. Magnificent said first. She picked the letter, and there is something in here. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. <laughs> you guys, this is the mystery package. We're going to see what that is. Okay. So here we go. Oh, we got us a silver Canadian dime. But who is this from? It, it had nothing written on the outside of the letter. Let's make sure it's not a personal name in here. Oh, that's funny. Okay, let's read this. It looks like a kid did some art. International Stacker. Uh, the other day I saw your uh, I saw your stream that you picked up some Canadian coins for a bargain. I was just going to send a letter to Silver Dragon, so I figured, hey, why not support the postal system and send this letter uh, in form? Well, thank you so much, Nate B., Anyway, I've been having luck picking up Canadian silver dimes below spot on eBay. Wow, congrats, great job, including shipping as well. What I found is bidding at off times on 50 and 80% silver dime lots. The 92.5% dimes are a bit more pricey. I've been able to pick up small handfuls of mixed lots of $1 uh, per dime, despite 50% dimes being worth one plus and the 80s being 1.5. Wow, super cool, and I just leaked your secret to all of YouTube. For whatever reason, I've only been able to find dimes at a good deal, but I'm slowly starting to fill up my coin book with nothing but Canadian dimes. Nate, that is super cool. Just thought I'd share my strategy. I love the enthusiasm in your videos. P.S. I don't have any stickers, so I drew a stick figure. Oh, I thought, that, okay, that's cool. Oh, wow. So Nate K.M. Bowie, too old to be drawing, age, too old to be drawing this. Well, Nate must be older, but his art looks a lot like my art, which means it looks like a six-year-old drew it. So thank you uh, so much, Nate. Awesome, 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 Nate B. Really appreciate that. And thank you so much for the silver dime. And I did just leak that um, to all of YouTube. So that's probably not good. Smash the like button if you want me to get in the mystery pack. That did come in the mail. Oh, we got Muhammad here. Keith Halik. What's up, Muhammad? Good to see you. Magnif oh, we got Slow Stacker asking, is this live? Slow Stacker. It is. If you guys don't know Slow Stacker, he's one of the slowest stackers on YouTube and also one of the slowest YouTubers. I think his last video was uh, maybe like a year ago, but he's got great videos, so check him out. Maybe he'll get active again. We got MC Hammer TV, and guys, I'm going to get into this, but look at this. This is literally how it was milled, so like just normal, like stupid, like office tape and masking tape, so that's horrible. That's a horrible job on shipping, 
but let's see if it's in here. Let me just make sure there's no receipt. All right, let's guess right now. What do you guys think it is? What do you guys think I'm about to plop on the table in front of you here? And we got 30 people lot watching, but only 18 likes. Guys, smash the like. Help me beat the YouTube censorship algorithm. Please help me. Help me. <laughs> and budget bullying got it. More <laughs> worthless fiat. So I'm planning a really good video with all the worthless fiat from around the world, but I went a little overboard <laughs> with the boulevards. So here's what happened. There's a bunch of uh, auctions out there and they're going for really, they're going for more money than I wanted to pay. So I found a bunch of cheap auctions. I bid on a lot of them, like not that much, thinking I wouldn't win them and I won a couple. I ended up winning all of them. So that's why I have so much of this. And if you guys didn't miss my video I put out yesterday, or the, yeah, the, yesterday, I was talking about the crazy hyperinflation around the world. I break down what happened in Zimbabwe and these are all million dollar notes. So this is $50 million in Zimbabwe. Anyways, if you guys missed that video, please watch it. Please hit the like and leave a comment. If you watched it, please leave a comment. I need it to get more engagement so it gets out to more people. But look at this hoard. Look at this hoard I have of this Venezuelan currency. And this is not even worth a cent. It's not even worth a penny. Not even worth a penny. Um, but I feel kind of like a rapper. So I'm thinking about maybe getting in the rap game, guys, with all this cash. Maybe I'll take some pics, make a song about inflation. What do you guys think? No, I'm kidding. So here's my stack of worthless fiat. But I do have plans with it with the videos. It's going to be good. And I am going to give some of this to some of you guys on the next Mega Gaw. Um, so you can teach your kids, your family, your friends about inflation and go, hey, I'm a millionaire. I'm literally a millionaire times 50 right now, guys. Multi-millionaire. And I can make 50 of you millionaires on the next Mega Ga. You guys, if you don't know what the Mega Ga is, Ga stands for giveaway, G-A-W, Ga. If you don't know what the Mega is, you've been sleeping. It's going to be epic. Don't want to know Fiat, says Budget. That's funny. It's going to be epic. Um, but I am going to give away some of this in the next Mega. When you win silver and gold... So you can teach your friends. And if you have a YouTube channel, you could talk about inflation. Frankly, I hope everybody copies my YouTube video about inflation and puts it out there. Because the more people that see that and wake up and protect themselves by buying gold and silver, the better everyone's going to do. Okay? Uh, but please, please, please open another tab right now. Go to my channel. Go to the video from yesterday. If, and just drop the volume, put let it play in the background, but put a like on it or put a comment. I really need that video to get more engagement to get out because that was a video I'm trying to use to like wake up the masses. It's only at 2,000 views. Oh, I needed to go more. Okay, Slow Stacker saying just popped in to like and hit. Be good. Got to go. Thanks. Slow, slow, slow stacker, 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 stacker. Appreciate it, my friend. Let's look at some of this. Ooh. You guys, there's still a couple crab rounds left at MK Bars. If somebody puts exclamation point MK Bars with a Z, one word, it will pop the link up. And if you guys missed it, I put up another video the other day about emergency food and preparing for disasters. That's what I do professionally, so that's cool. David saying slow stacker, not so fast. T-Square dropping the crab. How about a silver crab? So what do you guys got going on? What do you guys want to talk about? You can literally ask me anything. I will give you the answer. Oh, and I did message Yankee Stacking a little bit earlier. I believe we are going to be doing a UFO stream in the near future, so that should get interesting. Find Mrs. IS says got boost. I'm trying. I'm trying got boost. I'm looking to get a silver chain for the dog. Would love to hear. I would love her to be rocking more silver. That's awesome. A good way to hide your silver. As a matter of fact, let me see here. I wonder if I can. All right, T Square, you're a moderator. Congrats, bruh. Congrats, T Square. If you guys don't know T Square Talk, he has a cool video or a uh, YouTube channel where he literally talks. And his name is T Square. So it's pretty freaking 
Good. Scott says, international stacker, how low do we go on the GSR? Scott, my goal is once the GSR starts to get to 40 and below, so for 40s to 30s, I'm going to start trading. Just like anything, if you try to time the market at the top or the bottom, it's freaking impossible. And by the time you realize it's, it's too late. But if you think about it, we were just at uh, like a year ago, 115 to 1. As soon as we get in the 40s, I'll start slowly trading, shifting silver into gold. And I did a video on the gold to silver ratio that took a long time and very few people actually saw it. It's a shame. But it shows how over 20 years, if all you did was buy 100 ounces and you bought no more over 20 years playing the ratio, not even getting it perfectly, I think you'd end up with over 1,000 ounces of silver. It was epic. So check that out if you haven't seen that. I'm taking classes on jewelry with pure silver. That's cool, MC Hammer TV. Jared's saying, I found a three-cent silver piece at my pawn shop today. I bought it for 20 and it's in fine, extremely fine. What is it worth? Um, if it's real, Jared, that can be extremely epic. You'd probably want to get it graded. Um, so what I might do if I was you is either A, find a numismatist uh, Facebook group. They're usually closed, but type in like coin collecting, numismatic coin collecting. You're going to have to apply to get in. They're all closed. They'll let you in. And then post pictures of it and ask their opinion. And there'll be people in there that are actually professional graders. And they'll let you know what they think and if it's worth it. So that's a good one, uh, good thing to do with that. And budget bullion stacker broke two ounces of gold. Nice budget bullion. That is epic. What are your thoughts on Basil 3? You know, uh, I think it could be interesting. Some folks think it's going to extremely... Um, change things and be very volatile in a good way to gold and silver. Some think it has really no bearing whatsoever. What I do think is that it's going to continue to destabilize that that they're trying to stabilize, which makes me think they're going to come up with some sort of solution to stop it, honestly. Um, but I think it's a good thing for us. I don't think it's a bad thing. But when I say a good thing for us, that sucks. Because if silver gold end up doing what we all believe and think and what I really know it's going to do, that means a lot of people around the world, a lot of Americans are going to be hurting. So although I'm excited about it, I'm excited about our day in the sun finally coming, I really do believe that it is really going to stink and be very sad for all those people who didn't know, who didn't prepare, who didn't find my YouTube video because people weren't smashing like and subscribing, so please help me get the word out there. Mo, I got to go, but I asked. When you, uh, when you do the alien stream, could you check out PewDiePie's beforehand? Curious on your thoughts on his assessment. I will check out Pewds's. Thank you. Pewds. Uh, International Stacker, hope you can make it to my next auction. Maybe I will, Robert. I'll give it a whirl. Okay, AG Chopstick. The stream Numistatus saying, uh, according to NGC, an 1851 and F is worth 45 and up to not, up to VF. What? Up to VF at 90. Okay, 45 to 90. That's freaking mega. Hello. Let's see. I'm trying to look and see if I miss any comments here. Okay. Um, Robert, why don't you put your YouTube channel link in the chat so people can see it? Are you going to hook up with Silver Husky? I do, Ballad of Janine. I do need to hook up with Silver Husky in a totally non sexual way. I do want to hook up with him and do a stream. So I popped into one of his streams the other day, and he did ask me that. So um, we are going to do that. I don't know. Maybe if it was in that way, maybe you get more subscriptions. I don't know. You guys got to help me. 70% of you watching aren't subscribed. Please help me beat the algorithm. Subscribe. Smash like. Robert loves YouTube. Only going to have one more auction on 619 on Mad Stacker channel. That's pretty cool. T-Square saying all the cool kids are hitting the like and dropping a crab. You know what, T Square? It is pretty cool to drop a crab, these little crustaceans. Uh, you know, it once started as a meme and now the crustacean nation is taking over the globe. Just saying. What's the deal? Wait, what's the best deal you've gotten on silver? Um, probably getting silver for next to free, coin roll hunting. That's probably the best deal I've gotten on silver. Other than that, I've bought all kinds of silver in my career at or right under spot. I've bought like high premium silver for like a dollar over spot. Like I've gotten a lot of good deals. I've got probably over 300 videos on my channel showing you the most craziest deals in the world. I've got 900 videos showing me buying gold and silver in Saudi Arabia, the African market deep inside. 
um, all over Europe. So check out my channel if you've not seen that. In Ireland, we've been all over the place, guys. Dubai, we've literally been everywhere. And if you don't know, if you see Ballada Janine's comment, well, it's her comments over here, that camel next to her name, she is a member. So thank you, Janine, for being a member. But that camel is Daisy. And if you want to meet and find out who Daisy was, who I often use as a question a lot of my gods, where I literally give away thousands of dollars of gold and silver to you for free, um, check out my Egypt stream. I literally streamed from a hot air balloon over the Dead Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Come on! I love Daisy, too. David loves Daisy. Battle of Janine loves Daisy. Scott loves YouTube, dropping the crabs. Uh, this is a channel for Mad Stacker, who will be hosting Robert's auction. Thanks, AG Choppy Stick. Any thoughts on the Perth Mints Gold Pass program? Uh where we can trade and transfer digital gold and silver. Um, I'm going to say the same thing as Lynette Zane, Jeff. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. I mean, if you want to be speculative and have fun, cool, but I would not put a major part of your stack in there and just know if anything happens, it might you might not be able to get it out or it might take a while to get it. Uncle Scrooge saying, what's crabbing, everyone? What's crabbing, Uncle Scrooge? Jared saying, when I've gone to different coin and pawn shops i've seen different branding on silver bars like Inglehard, johnson matthew yeah if you're seeing Inglehard and johnson matthew and you can get those for cheap especially old style bars like these always do it jared they always carry a higher premium so you can flip them you can buy them for one price immediately sell it and flip it which you guys i used to do flip alerts all the time i'm gonna start doing them again some flips, I only do highly successful flips on my channel where I tell you guys, and literally, I've done alerts and people have made $1,000. If any of you flipped that Palladium Proof with me and made over $1,000, let them know. But I've done multiple high-level flips with all of you watching, and many of you have made a ton as well. King and Queen with the $3 fist bump. Well, thank you, King and Queen. We'll give you a crab bump here. Let me get, let me not jack my, okay, almost jack my camera, Okay. Thank you, King and Queen. You are a legend and a friend of Daisy. Boom, 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 says David. And then Jared saying, are graded coins worth buying? Look, Jared, I'm in it for stacking the weight. I do have some coins that are like in capsules that I can flip and have a numismatic value. I'm really not into graded coins. If I get a deal on them, I'll buy them. The only reason I'm buying a graded coin or grading a coin is to flip it, make more value, and immediately buy more weight. That's that's what I do. Flippin' awesome says Scott. Great Scott. <laughs> oh man. Man, we got almost 60 people on here. What's up, guys? What are you all doing on a Wednesday night? I have the next week off, so I'm planning to do a marathon of videos for all of you, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. What do you think of, about what's currently going on with the crypto market? Um, I think there's some corrections and consolidations and some fraud, waste, and abuse going on. Uh, I still do mess around with cryptos. I started in Bitcoin before I ever got into gold and silver. Uh, and a friend that I got into Bitcoin turned me on to stacking. And I quickly learned that if you can't hold it, you don't own it. So I did really well on cryptos, turned a lot of that into gold and silver. I still play around. But do not have any money or fiat currency in crypto that you're not willing to lose. To me, it's like I'm going to a casino. Now, I've done really well in the casino, but I've seen people literally think it's a sure thing and get freaking destroyed. But remember, you don't lose anything until you sell, right? So if you get slaughtered, it might be worth waiting it up, besides panic selling. Uh, and I'm not a financial advisor, of course. My, dis my uh, disclaimer is in the description below. 1.21 gigawatts. Says it got boost, but what the hell's a gigawatt? Jared's saying, when I went to my local bank, I found two... 1935 uh, certificates that were mixed with the deposit. Kind of cool. Yeah, very cool. Okay, guys. Yankee stacking. Yeah, sorry about that. Yankee stacking just texted me back and said, sweet. So the alien stream is on. It's probably coming this weekend. It's going to be mega. Anyone want Mike's de detink? I don't know what that means. All right, guys. I'm at a critical juncture. Do I go to sleep or do I pop a bottle of whiskey? Let's see what people say here. I'm feeling like I might go to sleep. <laughs> I'm tired. Tomorrow I have one more day of work and then I'm off for seven days. And we are going to have a ton of fun. We are probably going to go to um, 
some of my original content. I'm going to visit some LCSs. We're going to have a blast. All right. Bottle number one or bottle number two? Bottle number one or bottle number two? Let's see what you guys say. Okay, we got one, one. We got one, two. We got two twos, three twos, two ones. It looks like most people want two. Jameson's played out, says Budget Bullion. I love Jameson. All right, we'll go with the George. All right, give me a second. Let me get a glass. I hope my dad's not watching. I always put a couple silver dimes in my whiskey. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't really. <laughs> you guys thought I did though, right? For a second. I am watching my son, says Goon Guy Monkey. That's funny. Three fingers. Who thought I was really going to drink the silver? Press 7 if you thought I was going to drink it with the silver dimes. See what you guys say. <laughs> I think I did that on a stream before, guys. So see, I put the ice cube in like this. It gently kisses the ice on the way down and cools. And then it creates a cool atmosphere and gently kisses the top. So it doesn't dilute, but it keeps it fresh ice. You need better ice cubes. Death star shaped ones. That's funny, AG. That's funny. Hi, everyone. On my tablet. So I'll be slow typing. That's cool, Southern Coins. Welcome for coming. You missed it. I just put some silver dimes in my whiskey. And again, a big shout out to Nate B. Sent me a silver dime. You guys, if you want to send me a letter or s advertisement for your channel, send it to my P.O. box. It's in the description of every video, and I will feature it on my channel. Uh, but make sure you do the P.O. box in my newest video, because sometimes I'll change them. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, cheers, says. Okay. Mr. Austin says, I'm drinking. Ballad of Janine says, so poetic. To silver or not to silver? That is the question. That's pretty poetic. Look at this monster. Hey, Gibby's treasure is here. Hey, you guys. Somebody the other day called me a silver shill. Now I get it. That meant that they said I look like a shilling. Oh, that's what shilling means. Well, I like it then. Okay. Need some monkey shoulder international stacker. Ooh, what is that? What's your favorite piece of silver? Um, man, it's hard to say. I have some silver denarius um, from Roman times. You guys, you know, I have over 6,000 ounces of silver, so it's hard to say my favorite. But I really love Scottsdale, but I had one stacker make this for me, um, which was just another average stacker. I love this. This is, you know, I always say stacking, guys. I will sell, flip any piece of metal I have, um, but probably not these custom ones. So Jazz made that for me. Spot Stacker made this for me, and um, you know, Spot Stacker had a great channel, and he went MIA at the beginning of the beer flu, and no one's seen him since. So I'm actually worried, like something happened to him, or he got sick, or he went to jail, or freaking is homeless. I don't freaking know. So if anyone sees Spot Stacker, tell him I'm worried about him. Um, I really like these limited edition pieces from Silver Slacker. So a lot of you might not know Silver Slacker. He's got about 20,000 subs. Uh, he's not really too active anymore. He used to put out videos all the time doing massive unboxings like I've done and used to. Um, and he's really watching his channel made me start my own channel. So I've got a lot of respect for the guy. I buy all his new bars when he comes out with them. But he's put out a couple videos lately, but Silver Slacker. And if you want to see some epic unboxings, like you think mine are epic, whew, some of his unboxings were just freaking crazy. Ooh, Ballad Janine dropping my four-time world champion. If you guys don't know, Crystal Light champion. Scott Love saying, yo, man, see you soon at auction, Plumber. Oh, Plumber's having an auction? Who's your saying? Hello, IS and everyone. I hope all is well with y'all. 
I'm, oh, Southern Sam, I'm actually on vacation right now. Um, but there's a coin store about 20 away. Yeah. I hope you find something epic. Oh, yeah, good point. Oh, I Allison Intel Land? Who's that? Who's Allison Intel Land? Is that... Oh, is that Red... Is that uh, Red Step Stacker? Red Step, is that you, Steppy? Yeah, and Rapella saying in 1933 gold uh, coin sold for $18.8 .8 million. That's epic. Hey, it's me, Red. I'm doing a dry run on my gender reassignment. Who would have thought I was already a D cup to start with? That's funny, Red Step. Hey, Red Step, I'm doing a, a UFO stream with Yankee Stacking this weekend. Might be up your alley. What secrets will I tell? What do I know? I seen that, says Noah. Southern Coin, hoping to get some stuff. International Stacker, got a list for my 77 and Benji albums. You can do it, Southern. I guarantee you, you're gonna find one tomorrow. I've got the, I've got a feeling. Got a Walker at three a.m. for seven dollars, free shipping on eBay, and one other bidder. Uh, that's why you stay up. Ten dollars under melt, seventeen a coin. That is crazy, guys. You know what's crazy? I remember when I was first getting to stacking, I would not buy ninety percent constitutional silver, otherwise known as junk silver. I would not buy this stuff in the fit was t unless it was ten dollars a face or cheaper. One uh, so that means uh, for every one dollar of silver, the max I'd pay is ten dollars. I got some for nine dollars and fifty cents for ten for a dollar worth of silver, and now for ninety percent, it's like twenty four, twenty five times face. That is insane. Alice says you need to consider having me in there because I know everything about the TR three B how it works and how it flies. It's amazing. This weekend with Yankee stacking, it's going down. All right, Southern saying, I'm also coming off a coin show high 20, a coin show high 29% quarters for 105. That is awesome, my friend. Good job on that, Southern. Jared saying it's crazy. I remember the silver was so much lower and almost twenty eight dollars. I know, guys. Jeez, who's your saying? Until the government says extraterrestrial aliens exist, they can say UFO all they want. Mister Awesome saying I got two local pawn shops that only sell their junk silver at spot price. Uh, Mister Awesome, can you please tell me exactly uh, where those shops are located? I will be there shortly. Um, Jared saying, I wonder what will happen in the next 10, 15. <laughs> okay, let me ask you guys a question. All right, put the question on the side. Okay, Redstead said, dude, when you're done with Yankee, come over and do the same thing on my channel. I love way too. Okay, okay, Red. Um, oh, what was I just going to say? I had something epic for you. Gosh dang it, I got distracted. Uh, what was I about to say? <laughs> what was I literally about to say? <laughs> It was epic. I was about to tell you guys something epic. Someone remind me. There were barbers and S uh, Standing Liberty Quarters with dates plus some Washington, but mostly barbers and SLQs. That's freaking awesome. Oh, 10 to 15 years. Hey, hey, Darstacker, you guys go check out Darstacker if you're not subbed to him. <laughs> Yay, whiskey, says Scott. That's funny. Um, here's what I was about to say. Because somebody said... I wonder what it's going to be like in the next 10 to 15 years. That's what someone just said in chat. Back in 2020, if I would have came before you guys knew anything, well, it had to be 2019 then, before anything came out about the beer flu, the virus we don't call by name because we'll be censored, if I told you, like at January in 2019, like a year away from everything really starting to roll, and side note, I was warning you guys in November and December in January before anything was going on and people were scoffing at me and a lot of you bought the emergency food and you were happy because you didn't have to go fight for toilet paper at all, all the freaking uh, shops, right? But if I would have told you guys in 2019 in January, next year a virus is going to spread across the world and whether you believe in it or not, but governments are going to lock down all the world's populations, force people to stay inside arrest people who don't and force people to wear masks. If you would have believed me, press one. If you would not have believed me, press three. 
And I'm not saying because I'm international stock or I'm in, like if I was just to say that to you, would you believe that? <laughs> but my point is, is like it was so out there, it was so unbelievable that many people would have been like, yeah, right, this is more conspiracy BS, this isn't going to happen. But look what's happened in just the last year. So when somebody asks me, um, what are people going to, or what can happen in the next 10 to 15 years, I don't know. But all I got to tell you is in the next 10 to 15 years, you better hope you have stockpiled a bunch of this and probably stuff to protect it. You're going to ask us a question, says Red. It's crazy how the beer flu actually happened. No one would believe it. I know. I was in freaking West Africa, fly, flying back through here through Dubai, and then all hell broke loose. Then I ended up staying here, and it changed my it changed my life. I was going to be in the Middle East doing other projects. I immediately started helping in uh, in the United States. Sent dimes on eBay, shipping all that for mil or less on eBay. Just watch the Indian auctions. Awesome, Archer. I'm going to do it. After the election, anything is possible. That's true, Mr. Awesome. I would have reported you to the authorities for quick admission to the mental institution. Okay, so let's talk about time travel. Now, there's all these videos on YouTube about these guys that say they time travel, blah, blah, blah. I think it's total BS. I don't believe it. However, if we had a real time traveler, if we did have a real time traveler come to us and, and they were like, hey, this is going to happen, this war is going to happen, or this virus or whatever, we would think they were absolutely crazy insane. But just as we would have thought and would think they're crazy insane, think how crazy we would have thought they were if they told us what was going to happen for COVID and this and that. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy to think about. Uh, Allison and Teleland give us some free toilet paper. Thank you for that. I hope you guys have uh, really good uh, uh, hordes of toilet paper. <laughs> I did a toilet paper full stack video, guys, and all this is going on. Wait till you see what's coming. I've been warning everybody of UFO scare since December. Oh, so that's a question. Could some, could, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people talking about like a fake UFO attack to try to control people. Like you could really go, you could really go down that rabbit hole, which I'm not going to do, but you could. Hello, my friend. Donde buenos eres? Oh, de donde Buenos Aires. Ella recampar uno unida de plata un onza. I think he's asking me for an ounce of silver. De Canada del año. Oh, he has. Gustavo has an ounce of silver. La Prague? From Canada? I don't know. 99% of the time travelers say this stock will blow up. Trying to market manipulate. I know, Archer. Check out Secure Team 10 for more info on UFOs. Paper's getting expensive. You guys, if we all would have stacked a lumber last year, we'd be multimillionaires right now. Oh, great. If you're going to be anywhere on the planet when there's an outbreak of a virus, Africa is the last place you want to... Last place or second to last place you want to be. Oh, I know, Alice. Or, uh, Al, I should say Red Step. I was there. I just got out just in time. Ballad of Janine. I'm actually a time traveler, just so you know. Ballad of Janine. Tell me the future. Everything is expensive, says Jared. I know. It's crazy. Honey. Brandon called me honey. Hey, bae. How are you? So, I've got videos coming because I've been shopping. And I can't show that one. I can show you this one. Hold up. I can't show you that one. Should I open this one? Free gold announcement on my channel coming soon. Wow, Darth is giving away gold. I'm tempted to open this. Oh, you want to see another video of the underground bunker? Super, I sold my metal detector to Silver Dragons, and I'm getting the new model. 
Okay, let me see. Zeph is saying a microscopic animal called a belladoid, Rot Rotifer, came back to life after being frozen for 24,000 years in Siberia, and they successfully made clones of themselves. Russian science said, scientists said. Oh my gosh. There's time travelers. Make sure there's not a receipt in here. I like the Equinox metal detectors. They use a newer technology by Mind Lab. I'm getting the wireless one. I don't know if I can show, I don't know if I can show this to you guys. <laughs> I've been traveling for 34 years, that's funny. What is it? What is it? What is it? Everyone chat gets free gold right now. From me, just to take part, take apart your computer, and scrap it. I like it. Jake got it. It is a potato. <laughs> Ballad of Janine, get your mind out of the gutter. No! Ah, oh, yes. What are you doing? I have a plan for all this. I promise you guys. I have anthrax, don't do it. I have a plan for all this. All right, so what is this? This is a place that I went to many times before I had my gold and silver channel. Uh, otherwise, I would have made a bunch of videos with you guys. This is money, or as they call it in Arabic, flus. This is from Lebanon, Bank de Lebanon. And in Lebanon, they speak Arabic and um, French. One Justin Bieber fan has disliked this video. That's funny, Beatbox. So that's 1,000 in Arabic. That's a 1,000. This is Lebanese. And this is um, 100,000. Is it lira? Levers. This is 100,000 levers. And today, it's worth nothing. So I've got a really cool video series coming with all this. Who's your stacker saying, ah, yes, when are you and Yankee teaming up this weekend? It's going to be this weekend. I'm not sure yet who's your. I'll put it out. I'll post it. I'll announce it. I'll put it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, check me out. Yeah, Lebanon, high inflation. You're right, Bradley. You are right. But yeah, this is 100,000 leverts worth nothing. Yep. That's why I got this, Justin. Uh, I did my first video on hyperinflation yesterday, but I have a plan in every video I'm kind of going to recap, but go over new information. And I'm hoping that one of my hyperinflation videos takes off and goes viral because I really think it can wake people up. And you guys, the more people we get into gold and silver stacking, and again, shout out to Nate B for sending me this Canadian silver dime in the mill. You're a man, myth, and a legend. But every single new person we can get stacking not only protects another person, another American, another person from around the world from what's going to occur, but it makes the gold and silver world stronger. And the more people we can get into it, the better for everybody. What could 100,000 of that currency buy at its height? Well, I'm going to talk about that in my video. Um, a lot. A lot. Um... I believe a million, back when I was going there, um, I went to Casino de Lubnan and played poker with my buddy, and he bet a one million lira ch chip on red just to say he did it because he won a ton of money playing poker, like 20,000 bucks. And at the time, one million lira was, I think, $1,600. And this is 100,000, and this is worth nothing. 
nothing. This is worth more selling on eBay than it is like buying things in the country. Isn't that crazy? And we got Nosematics in the house. Congratulations, Nos. You just won $50 trillion worth nothing. <laughs> I'm actually going to give away some of this currency, uh, especially if you have a YouTube channel and make good videos. I think they're dimensional travelers. Time does not exist. How do I know, Red? You're not here trying to deceive us. Part of the plan. Soon to be dollar. Stack silver and gold. You guys, just how this can buy you nothing in these countries. Your currency, your buying power is being inflated away. Please go to the video I posted yesterday. Even if you already watched it, please like it. Put a comment. I need that video to get out to more people. It's really going to wake people up. But imagine this. In the month of April alone, you have 100 of these in the bank. At the end of April, you still have 100 of these, but the buying power of 96, 95 point something, because inflation just for the month of April was over 4%. You're literally giving your money away for free. You're, not even your money, your buying power, your blood, sweat, and tears, what you worked for, Every month, you're literally giving it for free back to the government. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Borrow of money just to buy a, lo a loaf of bread. Exactly. To be like the inflation king from Germany back in the day would be ideal. 100,000 potatoes. I'll take that. Cray Cray says, do not wrestle. Gustavo saying, Te faltan billets de Argentina. I don't have any money from Argentina. Help me, Gustavo. I need money from Argentina. Help me. In that case, I definitely overpaid for my carpet. That's funny, Brandon. <laughs> well, guys, video coming soon with Yankee Stacking. It's going to be epic. Dare I say mega. Hold up. Might be that time, guys. It might just be that time. I'm going to crash one more day of work. Then I got five off or seven off. We're going to have a blast. I'm going to make you a million different videos. Thank you all for watching. Please smash the like button if you haven't. Please subscribe. Help me beat the YouTube censorship. And if you really want to help me, go to the video I posted yesterday morning. Put another comment, even if you've already put one on it. Give it a watch, and please give it a like and share it. Important these videos get out, because what's coming is going to be the most unique time for us in terms of opportunity, I believe. And unfortunately, with opportunity is going to come great turmoil and destruction for those who aren't prepared. I tend and intend to be prepared by preserving my wealth with metals, being ready for any situation, and being able to protect it in my family. And I hope you are too. Thank you all for watching. And I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. Mega, 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 the mega car is coming. Be ready. All right, I'm about to end. I just saw Yankee Stacking come in. Yankee, I told him about our stream this weekend. Everyone's amped. <laughs> 
And I just ruined the dramatic. Okay, for real. <laughs> Catch you on the next one. Make a, make a, make a, make a, make a. For those of you who waited, you get an advantage on the Mega Ga. I will give you a password. Do not put it in the comments. Write it down. It will make sense later. The password is Platypi. The password is Platypi. Like a platypus. But multiple platter pie. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>